Log into the Singulator software as an admin or basic user, or use your personalized user ID and password. Select the option for Cell Isolations. Select the All Protocols tab to view all of the available protocols, or select from Favorites or Recently Run. Select the desired protocol and then select Next to proceed with the run, or Modify to make changes to the default run parameters. Pull out the red knob on the single shot mechanism and lower the reagent delivery stage. Pull out the blue handle to tilt the tubing chambers toward you. Load 3 milliliters of enzyme cocktail into a 15 milliliters conical tube. Add 6 milliliters of buffer in a second conical tube. Place the buffer into the tube holder on the single shot mechanism labeled buffer. Place the enzyme cocktail into the tube holder on the single shot mechanism labeled enzyme. Close the blue handle so the tubes are vertical and slide the stage up by holding onto the blue handle until the red knob clicks into place. Open the door in the front of the singulator. Lift the red knob to release the sample stage and slide the stage out of the singulator. Place the sample cartridge on the sample stage in a proper orientation so it sits flat on the stage. Rotate the cartridge lock to secure the cartridge in place. Remove the sample disruption cap from a cartridge. Place the sample at the bottom of the disruption chamber and replace the disruption cap. Insert the cartridge into the instrument by pushing the stage from behind. It's important not to hold onto the red knob during this step. You should hear the red knob click into place when the cartridge is fully inserted. Close the door and click Next. The Singulator is equipped with an internal camera that allows you to view the sample dissociations in real time. These videos are archived on the Singulator and available for downloading under the Admin User section of the software. The Singulator software will provide a notification when a run is complete. Open the door, lift the red knob to release the stage, and slide the stage out of the instrument. Turn the rear cartridge lock to release the cartridge and lift the cartridge off the stage. Place the cartridge on a flat surface. Puncture the foil seal with a 1 milliliter or serological pipette and transfer the cell suspension to a 15 milliliters conical tube for centrifugation. The final volume of the suspension will vary depending on the protocol options. A standard isolation protocol will yield 5 to 5.5 milliliters. The 15 milliliter conical tubes used for reagent delivery must be removed at the end of a run. After the run is complete, pull out the red knob on the single shot mechanism and lower the reagent delivery stage. Pull out the blue handle to tilt the reagent tubes toward you. Remove the 15 milliliter conical tubes and dispose of properly. The tubes will contain wastewater from the automated rinse procedure that ensures the instrument tubing remains clean. After transferring the cell suspension to a conical tube, centrifuge the tube for 5 minutes at 300 G and 4 degrees, or at a speed appropriate for your particular tissue. After centrifugation, carefully remove the supernatant without disturbing your pellet. Add 1 milliliter of RBC lysis buffer and incubate for 1 to 7 minutes depending on your tissue type. Refer to the Singulator user manual for recommendations. Centrifuge the sample at 300 G for 5 minutes. Remove the supernatant and resuspend the pellet in the appropriate buffer or media for your cells. Automated cell counters can be used to quantitate the yield of cells. Refer to your user manual for details on the operation of your specific cell counter. For use of Tripan Blue, mix 20 microliters of Tripan Blue and 20 microliters of sample, then add 10 microliters to each side of an analysis slide for counting. Look at the cells under a microscope then place on an automated cell counter. 
adjust the analysis parameters to count objects greater than 4 microns. This completes the process for using the singulator. Additional steps may be needed to further purify the cell suspension for your applications.